Hi. Do you want to find things like this? Or do you want to find things like this? All you have to do is watch the video, mother. What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov video. This video, I will be showing you two money runs for Shoreline that are gonna make you rich and average 1 million rubles per raid. Right now, everyone's obsessed with interchange, running through interchange. Kids are SJ6 out of their minds with five, seven pistols. The chads are there. It's just not a safe place to go. Interchange can be a tough place to survive, but Shoreline, sometimes depending on your spawn, you can be in and out of Shoreline before a player even gets there. If a player even goes there. Shoreline has a lot of high value loot like lead X's, graphics cards, Tetris's. There's a lot of PCs to get your uh, computer parts. Computer parts are selling for so much right now. A CPU is 90K. Circuit boards are 40 to 60K. And people are sleeping on meds. Meds are very profitable right now. Propitals are 25K. Golden stars are 140K. Vaseline's 40k, ibuprofen 60k. So the key to these money runs is you need to loot everything. I did 10 raids in total. Five raids I did my West Wing admin loot run. Four raids I did my East Wing admin loot run. And one raid I died. Out of the 10 raids, I only ran into people twice. Let's analyze the nine completed raids I did and see what we got. Let's analyze my West Wing slash admin money run. I did five raids and over those five raids, I got everything you see to the left and minus those F1 grenades. I don't know why those are there, but I sold everything, came out with 4.8 million rubles, which averaged 966,000 rubles. Now looking at the stuff I got, I didn't really get anything too crazy. You know, obviously the two Tetrises and the LEDX, but even if you got rid of those, call that 2 million on its own. That brings us down to 2.8 million divided by five. You're still getting 560,000 rubles a raid. And we're just picking up crap. Like that our, the armament cloth is like 20 K. Then you got things like Salen Solution, which are 40K. Your Ibuprofens are 60K. Squash is 20K. The Grizzlies are 40K each. Everything just adds up. So the key to this money run is grabbing everything. And looking at East Wing, I only did four raids. Four raids. Made 4.4 million rubles with everything on the left which averages 1.1 million rubles a raid. And besides that graphics card, there's really nothing too crazy. I mean, we have the Optima, the Optima scope, but we just got hoses. A lot of it's just looting computers. We got a lot of circuit boards and uh, power supplies. There's a few golden stars in there, one skull in there two Vaseline's in there, nothing really special. And we made a crap load of money. So again, the key is to loot everything you see. Now let's get in raid and I will show you the two money runs. Based on our spawn, we are going to start with the East wing slash admin money run. Now I always do these at night because during the day you're just going to be fighting people and I just want to loot and I always I always go in geared anyway so um, I don't advise hatching and pistoling because there are nights that you'll run into like 
two or three people teams um i also carry two sj6s one for on the way there i always pop an sj6 no matter what even if i get the close spawn over there just so i'm here first and i'm ahead of uh other players and i have an sj6 for the way back in case rock passage isn't open and uh i gotta travel far and i'm overweight it helps a lot so if you come through this side come in here check these shelves usually get some stuff like uh you know toolkits and keck tape and screwdrivers and stuff get through there quick um if you're coming from the other side just come right in here easy so two rooms that we want to concern ourselves with this floor i'll hit this room first it's east 110 you open it with the key with blue tape all right med spawn here bang med spawn here bang oh look at double med spawn in here awesome um you find ledx is here 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 i've never seen it here but i would assume it'd be here as well stims in there sj6s remember we want to grab it all we want to maximize our money holy crap these are like 27k a pop on the flea market i usually don't hit that computer because if i'm here first i uh i just want to get out of this room so i can get to the other stuff um gold chains go here gold chains spawn there gold chain spawns there meds meds this uh luggage i'm pretty sure it's just like a suitcase yeah or suitcase jesus like um a duffel bag next room is 107 i probably ran this room over 300 times never found an ledx and that's still the case um i found a graphics card here so that's the only reason this makes it really worth it you can check these containers but again like a real raid um i want to get off the first floor as soon as possible to uh avoid players so realistically i wouldn't loot all that these rooms are connected um i have the key for 222 this is probably one of the best rooms on the map uh graphics card tetrises spawn here gold spawns in here vases roosters uh clocks stuff like that over here rsas spawn ledx spawn oh nothing that's crap usually get like survival kick and stuff so late. well that's 25k let's keep it moving i never really checked that i never find anything really in there here well i usually close the door so if the person coming down here thinks it wasn't looted so they they make more noise thinking they're safe red key car spawns here not there uh east 218 i've heard a ledx spin a ledx will spawn right here never seen it but i check it real quick only takes five seconds and i found two graphics cards in my life in this computer so i always check it before i go up to the third floor uh med bag there if you want to search it but we really want to get to this room because this is uh 328 and the key for this is storage room they're all they're both linked together graphics card spawn i usually check the computer um these that's pretty good m4 stock uh, multiple weapon stock that looks like it might sell take that might have good ammo sure does you know so that's why we're grabbing everything gold chain spawns there after that i move this way i have never i haven't seen a gold spawn here in a really long time but i just checked the pig just to maximize my bag here 36k right there that's not worth anything don't check this you'll get killed <laughs> so next room here 214 shares the balcony with uh 313 excuse me 314 313 
I don't even bother with this room anymore most of the time LEDX spawn here hasn't spawned there in a long time it's been like two wipes here sometimes you find those metal scissors which go for a good bit this stock I know goes for a little bit um so weapon parts there I don't really mess with the containers most of the time I check this just because I opened the door to make it worth my while um check down here because at this point in the raid people are starting to move around people could have been already looting there there's a quest over there guy could be waiting for you on the stairs i do that a lot you know rat stuff you know rat stuff gold spawns all here nothing gold spawns all here it's 50 50 some raids there's nothing here and then other raids there's something here at least a horse or something Bitcoins I found there rollers lions ah roller. I'm not sure Um, but I would assume so. Yeah, no, I found a roller there. So 308 is connected with 306 Just keep your eyes over there once in a while. Somebody's watching over here It's rare, but it happens. I do it when I'm over there Gold spawn here. I found pro kills in here before gold chain Um, I always check this but mainly why we're even in this room if computer parts weren't so much I wouldn't even bother with this room, but you got the four computers here And I think once computer parts started raising a the price they definitely uh, They definitely nerfed the computers a little bit. That's what I think anyway, bam graphics card. Wow. That's a rare one That is a rare one Pretty awesome though. Too bad. This isn't a real raid. I don't usually go to the other side, but you can you just jump over the generator Find an AK uh, there sometimes Med spawn here Like I said, I usually don't come over here. There's really I'm usually Getting pretty full by this point All right, so after this Remember you're gonna look over here and make sure no one's camping you um situational awareness just if you see someone running over there you can kind of understand you know what to prepare for sometimes i hit this scav if like the rooms have just been empty those ears go for 25k that chocolate goes for 60k drop down check last room of east wing we're gonna hit 205 it connects over there with 203 gold spawn right here uh very common i find sheriff eli badges here drinks spawn here so vodka that water med spawn med spawn um if you want you can check these weapon crates i don't because i want to get the admin so uh when i jump down this hole i forgot to mention i do look for blue key card on the bottom of the ambulance there but uh, we're going to admin. I usually just go this way Be careful sometimes uh, Sanitar and his boys will be sitting on the stoop here. How'd that happen? I like going through here um, Something a tactic you can use while going to admin See if that door is open or closed a lot of people don't go in there anymore But it could be if it's open, you know for sure somebody is up there And it's probably not worth looting. I usually close the door behind me. So people don't know i'm here Sanitar I found him in here before so be careful I wouldn't worry about that side. It's just duffel bags and uh filing cabinets and a safe if you have the key you can go for it But I, don't, I wouldn't waste my time First room you really want to go is right here. Bam. Look at that Teddy I found two tetrises here before red key card spawn um, Sometimes something's good on the shelf like your uh, Hardware type stuff same thing here um, a let, a Tech spawns here circuit boards a lot of the time and stuff here open this door There's a tech spawn here. There used to be one here. I'm not sure if um, it's still there or not, but I found graphics cards here before 
All right, in here, there's really nothing in here. Check the shelf. Maybe we get some metal scissors. Remember, those are like 40K. Uh, check this computer. Nothing, move on. Now, we're not gonna go through this door to those computers. We're gonna go this way. We don't wanna make a lot of noise. Check for the key. It's um, West 104 or I think it's West 112 spawns there. I usually check this duffel bag if I have room. Move here. Just check in here, make sure no one's in here. Computer one. Computer two. And keep in mind, East Wing is going to be your sweaty wing. You're going to find um, the most players are going to be going to West or East, not West. So you want to prepare i usually usually get no fights or one fight like if i get the spawn if i get a really good spawn over there um usually don't get a fight if i get one of the crappier spawns obviously we're gonna end up fighting the guy that got the good spawn so we loot all the computers this one's for last duck down so they can't see me through the window oh we already did it all right on the way out I like to go this way. I have found a Ledex on that cart before. And then I just head out. You can check this duffel bag on the way out. If I have room to top it all off, Zippos are going for like 15K. Um, and if you really like, most people don't know there's a duffel bag in here. You really want to top off your, your bag and go in there. And then you had to extract. Because you spawned over there, you're either heading to the tunnel if rock passage isn't open. All right, we're here now on West Wing. You're almost always going to be using this entrance when going in the West Wing because all your spawns are here. You should be coming up to this hill um, and going in through here. That's just all the crap I found in East. I just threw it all there. Loot run starts here. We check these shelves. Um, sometimes you get like car batteries, nails, nails are going for 60k, weapon parts, not really going for much, but we'll take it. First floor, only two rooms you want to worry about. If you are not, if you don't care about searching for a blue key card, you can skip these two rooms, but uh, blue key card spawns on the desk. I always grab the meds here. So like that, bang, 27k ish. And then... 112 here i'm pretty sure this is the key that spawns in admin uh blue key card spawns on there two duffel bags i never really check them if you're not looking for the blue key card you could just skip these rooms and you're gonna run straight to the basement check here so i find propane here i find fuel metal scissors keck take there's a car battery a lot of the cloths are uh in there but we're gonna head to the basement we're looking for red key card. Not there. Um, million duffel bags. Two wooden crates. Uh, AK or AKM spawn on top of the box there. But we're trying to head to the rooms. We're trying to head to 301 because that's our most profitable room that doesn't have a blue key card spawn. So we go upstairs. Going here. Remember, make sure you're, uh, you just take a look over there. There's no player watching. 301. You gotta be careful now. Um, it's pretty common for people to camp this for Shooter Born in Heaven. So, uh, be mindful of that. Ugh. So, LEDX spawns here. Fire steals, I find a lot here. Um, relays weird tech stuff spawns here nothing like crazy um ledx spawns there ledx spawns there you got the two computers um the layers i'm trying to loot stuff just so you can like see the stuff i'm gathering but uh ssd and green crate i usually hit that that's like 40 60k saliwas ifax all spawn here after that, we close this door so no one knows we're here. 
We drop down the hole. You lean. Don't forget it. See if anyone's coming. Hit 203. 205 over there connects to this room. Med spawns here. Saliwas, all types of stuff. Red key card spawns here. Money. LEDX. I found it here before. And I found it here before. Toolbox. Med case. We're not actually like doing looting like we were last game. Med spawns here. Because I think you guys get the point. Check here. Make sure no one's there. Now we're just going to finish off the second floor of West Wing and then we would head to admin. Oh, oh, fail, fail, fail. Ran right into that. 216 is the first room. Never seen a Ledex in here, but apparently people think it's, it spawns here. Uh, tech spawns, relays and stuff. Um, usually decent ammo spawns here. Sometimes you'll find like BS or uh, 995. Uh, Devil Dog Mayo. Real easy spawn here. Uh, I found Moonshine, Vodka, Grenades. Med spawn, Med spawn, possible LED, LEDX. I, I, I've never seen it, but I've, that's what they say. X room, 218, which connects to 221. Jeez, I ran by the door. And 222. I usually get 218 key because it brings you right into the room you want to be in. Food spawns here, Sprat spawn there, money, red key card, um, BS ammo sometimes, BT, RSAS spawn, meds, golden starlet, 160k right there. I usually check this crate because West Wing is a little lighter in terms of loot than east or whatever i uh, nothing really in here unless you want to go to this guy here what do we got what do we got saliwa yep saliwa and saliwa's 25k um and now we got one more room it's at this point like say i spawn i get a good west spawn um it's at this point you start hearing players moving their way over here so it's pretty common. I'll be in this room and I'll start hearing people. And this is a really good uh, door to lean. You've got a good right side lean. They're barely going to see you. Um, I've knocked a couple guys doing that before. 220, our final room before admin. Med spawns. I got another 160K. That's 20K ish. Wooden crate. Um, gold spawns here, bitcoins, lion, cats, and you got weapon crates here. When going to admin, I go this way just because it gives me time to kind of like listen and know, like, give me some situational awareness. Um, because at this time, the East Wing players could be heading this way. So you don't want to make too much noise and get caught out over there. So I go wide. You know, when I get here, I start seeing if I can hear footsteps in there. Uh, maybe there's a fight here. You hear a fight and you're like, all right, I'm not even going to go there. And then you can just dip out. But I already went through admin. But as I enter, I do the same thing. I like going through the theater. Make sure look out for Sanitar. Make sure you check this room. If I'm in here and I hear somebody, I'll sit in this room and catch them off guard. And then you go up and do your looting and that's it. And then on the way out, check for LEDX. And uh, that's it. Those are the loot runs that make me on average a million rubles per, per run. If I know east side is hit or miss. You can get into some fights or if you get a bad spawn. Um, even if you get a bad spawn, I would check it out because not everybody has all the keys. And uh, especially that key with tape, not a lot of people carry are able to get it. Um, if you spawn west, you're usually the first and only person in west. That's just usually how it goes, at least at night. I'm sure during the day, 
things are a little more popping but we're trying to make money not get kills but thank you for watching the video if you can please leave a like and a comment it really will help with the youtube algorithm and please consider subscribing we're almost at 14,000 subscribers a lot of good guides on our channel a lot of good feedback on them shooter born in heaven tarkov shooter part eight you can check those out thank you for watching the video